and welcome again to another edition of the Voice of Camp Nathaniel here on the campus of Camp Nathaniel. I'm Stephen Bell coming at you and with me as always. Are you ready? I I, oh, you better be ready for I this. I don't one. know if I am. All right. The Arenaceous. The Aaron. Uh, this is Lee Sharp. There guys. you go. There you go. The Arenaceous Lee Sharp. Arenaceous. That feels very like greek or roman there it's not it's e-r-i-n-a-c-e-o-u-s -E erinaceous I, I was hoping for something really cool but i feel like it's not it's gonna go it means resembling a hedgehog <laughs> <laughs> why is this a word i don't know why in I, the english language did somebody sit down and go you know what we really need we don't need we already have the word hedgehog, uh, but we need to know what something that looks kind of like a hedgehog, but it's right. not. All right, check this out. It says, this is a strange one. It refers to something or someone who resembles a hedgehog. <laughs> if someone ever says that you are looking quite arenaceous today, you know now to give them a very evil glare. <laughs> evil glare. The Arenaceous, Lee Sharp. No, no, I will say in like the, the early 2000s with yeah. that, 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 that like spiky hair, is that what they were getting maybe, at? Maybe, maybe. There was a lot of people looking Arenaceous back Th there then. There was, there was, that's right. Hey, uh, man, we are excited today because we are, we're closing out some summer ministry. Mm -hmm. All right. Summer ministry is the biggest time that we have here at Camp Nathaniel has been over the years. And we are closing out a, uh, as a seven week long, is that right? Including, uh. Including, including orientation, orientation yeah. and training. Seven weeks of uh, of summer camp ministry. And we have got in the studio with us, it's a, a plethora. A plethora. Uh, another big word, all right? A plethora of guests today. We've actually got three other guests. There are five of us in the studio right now. Mm -hmm. We're all crowding around a small folding table with three of our normal mics and one random mic that I think usually gets used up front for Yeah, probably. You and I get our own mics though. So we, they have to they have to share the other two. So uh, we've got three of our summer missionaries in here. They can't see you, Peter. Quit waving. <laughs> so, all right. So we've got three of our summer missionaries in here. Uh Emmy Gearhart, Peter Inman, and Gracia <laughs> So confused. Come now. on, you're from Iowa. <laughs> Gracia, uh, Gracia, come on, don't tell me. We already told you. Yeah, we've told you like three times. Tell me again. Schaefer. Schaefer, that's yeah. it. Schaefer. Schaefer. You know, that sounded like we planned that. We didn't. We don't plan anything. I, I've, only, I've only known Gracia for like six weeks, man. So, yeah. For all our regular <laughs> listeners on this podcast, you know we don't plan things. We don't. We don't. Guys, how are you doing? Good. good, 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 good. Emmy, how are you? I'm really good. That's good. Okay, Peter. Better than Emmy. <laughs> Better Whoa! than Emmy. Whoa. Hold on now. And Gracia Schaefer. I'm good. It's it's been a long <laughs> summer. It, it <laughs> I think has, we all say hasn't that. It? Oh goodness. <laughs> but it's good. But it's all good. right. Awesome. All right. I, I promise I'm not that big of a jerk that I just completely <laughs> forgot your name. I just it just slipped entirely. <laughs> So, so yeah, He's too busy so, looking up new words. I was, I was busy <laughs> focused on what it means to be, to resemble a hedgehog apparently for Lee's sake. Hey guys, we're going to talk to you just a little bit today in regards to what it's like being a summer missionary. Um, the application process you kind of went through how, you, how other people can probably get involved if they want to apply to be summer missionaries and really just kind of talk to you about your experience this summer as part of the summer missionary team here at Camp Nathaniel. Um, this has been my first summer being able to serve as camp director to get into pour into your guys' lives as your camp director. But, I, but I'm excited more than anything for you guys to share with our listeners about your experience. So uh, let's get a little background on you first to try to figure out where everybody's from and, and figure out things like last names and, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So uh, let's, start, let's start more. Let's start with the local one, all right? Local, not loco. All right, let's. Uh, it's all right, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amy, how did you get to know camp? When did camp first show up? Where are you from? Where first? are you from? Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, from Floyd County, Kentucky. Originally from Indiana, and I came to camp. I think it's been like nine years since I first came to camp. We moved from Indiana about nine years ago, and I believe I started hearing about camp from 
my pastor and his wife, which at the time was Rick and Kathy Franklin. Mm, okay. Yes. And then my family, my mom, my brother and I, we got involved in outdoor ed and I helped at <laughs> outdoor ed for about three years, I want to say, and became friends with the Bauer girls. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then started going as a camper after Corey Bowers really encouraged me. And then they are the ones that really encouraged me to get into working mm-hmm. this summer and Corey had been trying to get me to work for a while. And then I finally started working last year. And here I am this year. <laughs> From Floyd County, those of you who are not unfamiliar with the geographical um, um, layout of Southeast Kentucky, she is literally one county over from Camp Nathaniel, right? I think so. About 30 on, minutes man. away. I'm still trying to figure out the geo. I've been living here for uh, almost three years That's now, true. and I still get lost. Yeah, so. I forgot. You didn't grow up here either. So, all right, Emmy, well, welcome to the podcast. Good to have you. Peter. Hello, Peter. Hello, Steven. All right. No one else got that except for the people in the room. That's kind of been our thing for the whole summer. Uh, Peter Inman from Beckley, West Virginia. To be specific, Beaver. Beaver. Hey, there's a beaver around here too. Yeah. Yeah. So see. Nobody knows beaver from where I'm from. So Apparently they, not. I just so. say Beckley. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 like me saying I'm from Hyman, which I love I love being from Hyman, but I usually say like Hazard or Pikeville if I'm dealing with people far yeah. off, you know. So Peter, uh, j- just like Emmy, kind of bring us up to speed on uh, on your history with camp, how you how you got to be um how you, how you came to apply for being summer missionary this year. Okay, so I started my first year of camp was about two years ago, and the reason I went was because my brother had went the year before me because, same as Emmy, the Bauer girls had told him and encouraged him to go. There's like a connection to a Bowers no matter what happens. Yeah, no, Can we just hire the they, Bowers they, they, as like our <laughs> PR? Like, yeah, really. They they run like the mission field to get people to go, yep. apparently. <laughs> yep. um, but anyway, he went, he came back, he said it was awesome and that I needed to go. So he drug me along with him, and I went my first year as uh, the last week of middle school week, I believe it was, and I had a great time. So I ended up, came back last year. I started two years before. Came back last year, then they started to encourage me, the Bauer girls started to encourage me to go and work as a worker. And I had been on debated about it, but I ended up coming and decided, like, I think it was like a week after applications were supposed to be in, <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, th- th- thanks for letting me come. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah, basically it. Awesome. All right, Gracia. All right, now we're gonna find out how you came to uh, to this place because again, you're from Iowa, mm-hmm. and if you say Bowers, I'm just gonna go <laughs> nuts right now. If there's a Bowers connection somewhere in here, I'm gonna I mean, lose. That would it. be cool, but there's, there's uh, you not, know, unfortunately. All right, give us the background. Tell us how you got here. Yeah, so I'm from Iowa, and so this last year I went to Frontier School of the Bible out in Wyoming, and this March we took a work trip out here with some friends that were looking at interning here, actually, and through that I was like, well. <laughs> There's a camp in Kentucky (laughs) that I could work at. And so the Lord just really laid it on my heart that I was supposed to go somewhere new. And here I am on an adventure. So, yeah, I applied. And, and I'm here. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That? We're an adventure. We're you an adventure. are an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> in so many ways. Mm-hmm. In so many ways. Well, awesome, guys. So, uh, so okay, let's go back to this for a second. Um, of, of course, Emmy and Peter have been here before. So what? how many years have you been a camper here, Emmy? Let's do that. This was my sixth and final year as a camper. That's right, because you're a graduating year. senior. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can't come to camp anymore as a camper. <laughs> Only as a worker. <laughs> Only as a worker. And we got college retreat now. Yes. So, mm-hmm. so okay, so six years as a camper. Peter, how about you? Uh, this was my third year. Third year, okay. And, and of course, the first time Gracia set foot on campus was back in March, right? Yeah, yes. I've never been here as a camper. She's never been here as a camper. So, And, and you've been, hey, listen, you've, been, you've kind of been put through the ringer this summer because uh, did you, you've done, you've done counseling? Mm-hmm. You've done, have you done team leading? Yes. Okay. All right. You didn't do both the same week, did you? No, thankfully. That would be a Emmy lot. Did. Emmy did. Emmy did. <laughs> no, I wasn't a counselor, actually. But I was, okay. I wasn't a counselor, but I was an activity leader and a team leader and a CT. Oh, wow. Okay. For those of you who don't know what CT is, that stands for cross, uh, cross talk, uh, tra- uh, or 
counselor and training or yes, something like I've, that. So I've heard was, both. I've heard counselor and training and like crosstalk leader or helper. Yeah. So. yeah. Our, our crosstalk takes place after chapel every night where we get a chance to, uh, the, the cabins get a chance to go along, uh, to go off by themselves as a cabin and they get to discuss what was talked about during the chapel services. Which I think is really important. Uh, very very much a, so. a lot of times, and I don't know for all of our listeners, sometimes you, you sit down at church and you listen to a sermon yep. and then you get done with that and you're like, I feel like I need to sit down with somebody else and talk about everything that to try to explain it in a way that maybe I hadn't I, thought about before or just getting different opinions on it. Perhaps I can chew on this for a while. Yeah. <laughs> have a little discussion about it, maybe. Yeah. Yes. I have no idea what just happened. I'm sorry. I don't know where that We're came pulling from. pulling all the accents out for this episode. <laughs> That's great. That's I'll great. Do that. I'll participate in that. I'll do that. <laughs> hey, that so, works, man. So I got to ask here for the two that have been campers now. And you, this is not a knock against any of your other counselors, but do you have a favorite cabin counselor oh the one that maybe oh. had the greatest impact on you we gave them no prep for this no prep, <laughs> right no prep we do not believe in prepping for shows like this it's just kind of we want their genuine reactions that's right we do <laughs> all right i want to know like because they obviously said hey i'm going to come back and i want to do this right as a, a summer missionary as well mm -hmm. well you don't just decide that like you're usually Some, influenced by somebody else somebody who does has that had a, for you. Yes, yeah, somebody's had an impact on you, and then you in turn want to have that same impact on others. So and I know the Bowers, but if that's the Bowers, then just... No, Bowers isn't an option right okay, now. Okay, right? Bowers aren't no. optional. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to the Bowers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, for, hey, hey, listen. The Bowers name runs thick through Camp Nathaniel, yes. all right? Yes, they've been hanging around a while. Been hanging around for a while. Uh, for a while isn't of there course, like two sets of that name? There's the side that's been around for a long time, and then I heard there was the troublesome side of it. <laughs> <laughs> right? I don't know. It's one of those mysteries. We'll find out. <laughs> Listeners, you can decide which one's the troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so Emmy, who, uh, um, any idea? They're all great. They've all, all the counselors have been awesome. The person that I would try to get back in their cabin year after year was Abigail Dingus. Abby Dingus. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Abby Dingus. She's not a Dingus anymore, though. She's a Dingus Brennan, I believe. Dingus Brennan. Okay. Yes. All right. Good deal. Yeah. She got I've married. Been, yeah. <laughs> yep. I tried to get, I think like the last, not this year, but the last like three years previously, mm -hmm. I had tried to get in her cabin and I got in there. This year I got in Paige Waddle. She's my number two. Oh, I okay. love Paige. All right. Gotcha. Good deal. All right. There you go, man. So people having an impact. Peter, what about you? All right, Peter. I've had a different counselor every time <laughs> that I came. <laughs> and my first two years, they were both frontier people. So oh, okay. I had Thomas, gotcha. and then I had Luke. And then this year, I got Aaron, who I got to know a bit more. Yeah. Probably the most impactful was probably Thomas mm -hmm. my first year because I was going through a lot of stuff, and I got to talk to him a lot and cre create a good friendship there. Yep. So I got to say most in fact impactful was probably Thomas. Yeah. Good deal. Okay, Gracia, now... Do you have, I mean, this is your first time at camp as a summer missionary. Do you have other camp experiences? Yeah. yeah. So I've worked other places for the last few summers. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about those. Yeah. So for the last three summers, I've worked at a camp in Montana, Southeast Montana called Trails and Ranch. So mm -hmm. I've been counseling there for the last three summers. And uh, yeah. horse people. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little wild They're out there. <laughs> special group of people right there, <laughs> horse people. Yeah. So, but I attended camp like as a camper, several different places, but yeah, that's okay. been my main experience with camp. I would say has been there. Awesome. Good deal. Okay. So let's talk about your all's experience here at uh, Camp Nathaniel this summer. So what has been in your all's opinion as a summer missionary, um, what has been your all's, um, wh what area have you served in this summer that you feel like has probably stretched you the most all right, let's go, let's go there. Peter, you look ready. Dirge during family <laughs> camp. During family camp, dirge. Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a dirge is, that's dining room guy or gal. And, uh, and they are the ones who wait on tables all throughout the week. And, and family camp is a, is a very um, intense week for those who work in the dining hall. It, it, is, it is a packed week. It is a, a packed lot week. of people. And a that's lot right, of food. man. And it's it's kind of the nature of the beast, man. It's a, it's just a lot of people coming in. Family camp week is an entirely different from any other week that we do. So yeah, I can see how that would have stretched you a I little mean, bit. I mean, the mornings were amazing because a lot of people apparently did not want to eat breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but so near the evening, lesson. we would run out of seats sometimes and yeah, have to like yeah. try to move people out. So it was yeah. just it was stressful. So yeah, it, it it can be very stressful. God God tends to uh, work a lot of patience in people's lives in the dining hall uh, during the summer, and it's a good thing. It's a good. It thing. It was a great experience though. Yeah, it, it oh, was yeah, good. Absolutely. Not shooting it. Yeah, um, Emmy, Gracia, what about you guys? Mm. Where have you been stretched the most? I'd say probably grade school week, the first grade school week. Okay. That was the week that I was a CT. I was a team leader and activity leader um, and all those different things. I, w- I want to say it was grade school week, but that really stretched me. I had to get out of my comfort zone because like as an introvert, I had to really get out of my comfort zone and become extroverted. But it was great because I got to really know a lot of kids because mm-hmm. of the like my cabin that I had to get to know the kids in the on my team as well as the activity kids so it was it was a great week but it was also exhausting but I can tell that because of that week I have grown so much and I yeah. feel more confident in those roles now so. good are you guys tired right now <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just week six. We got one more to go yeah. after this one, all right? No, Stephen, I'm not tired at all. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell. I, I have a song I could sing to you all day long. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, all right, Gracia, how about you? Oh, I would say, I mean, I've just mainly, I've mainly been counseling. I had one week of team leading, but I would say counseling has really stretched me. I mean, as it does uh, any, yeah. any person, mm-hmm. I feel like it should, it, it should stretch you. If it doesn't. I don't know. (laughs) You are crazy and you're doing great. Um, Yeah. So my first week, grade school week, there was just a lot of, yeah, struggles that my girls had that I just really had to like come alongside and help work through, even if I hadn't experienced that myself. And so that's always a stretch for me, like just feeling for them and like learning how to carry their burden well. And yeah. yeah. And just grade school's tiring. They're crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Sleep, sleep is yeah, it doesn't <laughs> happen all that much. Oh my goodness, it is a it, it is a, a whole it, it is a very different week. It, it's crazy, mm-hmm. you know. We we kind of plan our schedules to mim to mimic each other each week depending on the age group that we got. But when you bring in fourth and fifth graders versus high school students, you know you, you're you're dealing with with a whole different ball game there, man. So it, it does require a lot more energy on your all's part mm-hmm. um, to di- to uh to lead the younger kids through, through all of this. So, um, well, of course we start off our, we, we start off our entire summer with orientation and, uh, orientation is where we get a chance to know you guys a little bit better, where we get to incorporate, um, all of the things that is camp Nathaniel, everything that you guys got to know for the summer, how to mm-hmm. deal with things and stuff along those lines. Um, th- was orientation good for you guys? Was that, it yeah. was, it was very fun. It, I love orientation because like you get to spend time with, the other summer missionaries and Mm -hmm. like start those relationships. And it's amazing just to see like how we start out knowing each other in the beginning of the summer to the end of the summer and like how we're all pretty much best friends. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's amazing to see. And it's great just get to get spent. Whoa. It's great to get to spend time with people that are close in age. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know, you know, one thing that, um, and I mentioned this during family camp, one of the things that I'm so happy about was the fact that we have 31 summer missionaries this summer, which is Mm -hmm. fantastic. So we've got three of the 31 who are in here right now. And 21 of them, 21 of them are returning from last year, which is crazy. It means they did it, and they want to do it again. That means they want to do this (laughs) like more than once, They volunteered to come back and do it again. (laughs) I know. I mean, what's wrong with these people? No, just kidding. Um, Yeah, I mean, and and, uh, okay, so we talked about orientation. Let me ask you guys this. Here's a question that that I like to ask all of our summer missionaries. Day camp, which is our first, second, and third graders. Then we've got fourth and fifth grade week. Then we've got our middle school week. We've got our high school week. We've got our family camp week. All right. And then we repeat two of those at the end of the summer, which we're at right now. Which one is your favorite week? All right. Which one is your favorite? Um, not, not, you know, aside from orientation, we've already talked about that, but from day camp all the way to family camp, what is your favorite week or what has been your favorite week thus far since we've got all of them under our belt now? Anybody want to go for that first? I'll start. Um, ooh, probably grade school week. 
like high school week, I've always been a camper. So I haven't had to work it. Middle school is challenging, but it's got high reward and it Mm -hmm. is a great week. Grade school. I just, I love that age group and they're Mm -hmm. so much fun. And it's, it's awesome seeing like their positivity and their like child, their, their curiosity of just the gospel and everything. And you do have to be high energy and it's exhausting, but it's also so much fun getting to know these kids because they're always so funny. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Peter, Gracia? Yeah, I was. I mean, they're so vastly different. Uh, they and are, even like yep. your jobs are all different. So I would say my favorite so far, I mean, I really enjoyed our first middle school week because I got a team lead that week. So I just got to see okay. like a totally different aspect that I hadn't seen before. And so just being able to do that and you get to know so many more kids than you do if you're a counselor Mm because they're just not as, they might not be as deep of relationships, but you get to know them. And so I just loved like maximizing them and be like, hey, you can do this. You can, you know, all those things that go into um, teams throughout the week. So that was just a lot of fun to just watch them just like Mm -hmm. enjoy camp and enjoy each other and like watching them build relationships and spark new friendships. That was really cool to see. Good. Peter? Um, For me... Just break it, man. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> the mic was slowly falling <laughs> off the, <laughs> the table there. Oh, yeah, so you might have to move the base around or something like that. We're taking technical difficulties, taking them out of the... Oh, 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 oh lead to the rescue. Way to go. There we go. All right, okay. Peter, back to you. So, like Gracia said, all the weeks are so very much different. Yep. But, like, during day camp and then grade school week, like, my jobs were kind of behind the scenes stuff, so I didn't really get to hang out with the campers as much mm-hmm. and create, like, relationships there. But I feel like on the middle school week, one, I had some kids that I knew from back home, some closer friends. They were going to come in camp, so I got to talk to them, which was fun. But it ended up working out to where I did not have as much to do during that week, so I had a bit more free time to where I could interact with kids. And as fun as it is, and I got to be like the mascot for one of the teams for most of the time. (laughs) I was Paula the Koala. (laughs) And we did not end up winning (laughs) But we had the best time. That's awesome. But anyway, I got to hang out with the kids and not really have deeper conversations with them. Yep. But I I really got to see their joy and their competitive spirit. Mm-hmm. And then also how some of them, when others weren't feeling that great or like they weren't really feeling in the game to play, I really got to see how others can help encourage and have that effect on others. And so it was just a really great reek. And also the speaker was a really good speaker. Yeah. So I very much enjoyed that. Yeah. That's the other thing about being on uh, summer, uh, summer staff as a summer missionary here. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, for a couple of things. Number one, um, you get great chapel messages every night from, you know, six to seven different speakers that come in throughout the summer. And the cool part about that is that each of those speakers is given the same, like, they're given the same theme. Mm-hmm. They're given the same key theme verse that yep. we're going with. And then we told them, okay, go for it. Go. That's and, all we tell and, them. That's and right. what's absolutely wild is that you'll end up with six different yeah. presentations of the same material. And it's, I don't know from your all's perspective, if it's neat to be able to see how they've taken the same verse and mm-hmm. all of a sudden one person's is talking, he's going through what Ian was going through. Ephesians. He went, he went expositionally through Re- Ephesians, Ephesians. Five. Yeah. And then, um, we talked to Ian on the previous podcast, by the way, that, and then, then uh, Bill, what did he go through? I'm trying to think now. Bill right now is he's focusing on, um, the the four words in regards to their identity, finding their who they identity. are in Christ, yeah. created, loved, and he's going to go to adopted and um, transformed. Uh, so those four, yeah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. I just ruined chapel for you for the for the rest of the week. So no, but about that it being different, I got to see it and I really enjoyed it because at orientation week the staff had a speaker and he literally one of his messages he's preached off of the first verse of Ephesians chapter five yeah, and literally just that. And then you see like Ian going through the whole chapter Mm -hmm. and yet both those messages were so like impactful to me and really amazing. Yet it didn't really matter the portion of the scripture. It just mattered what the scripture was and like the truth that he was bringing out of it. It was really amazing to see and throughout all the other speakers that it's been. Okay, so let's let's kind of bring this. We're getting ready to wrap this up here. So let's talk about a few things real quick. You guys, 
Now, now, listen, when we go through the application process to get you guys in here, um, this isn't something that you just apply for in a matter of five or 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden you, you, you get the green light. So, uh, tell us a little bit about this process because we are very intentional on who we bring in here. We know that the people that we get in for summer staff are going to be ones that, that are, man, they're ready to be here. So tell us about that experience for you. Whoa, 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 Peter. Peter just said, why are these two here? And that that Come on, was man. low. Um, yeah, so, yeah, if you think you're going to do it in five minutes, mm. joke's on you. It took me, like, an entire Saturday of, like, slowly working on wow, it. Wow, okay, Sitting good. in my dorm room on my bed. <laughs> ah, anyway, nice. it was, it's it's good. It Yes, it's a lot. But mm -hmm. as you said, it really shows, like, who's going to be here. They They know... They know their the word of the, like they know the word of God. They That's right. they know who they are, and I really appreciated from being on a different staff and going through like other camp applications. This one really showed like this is going to weed people out it, yeah. in a way. I mean, honestly, like, that that is part of the whole deal. Yeah, it really is. And so, just the the depth of it, and I'm sure you can put in as much as you effort. I mean, mm -hmm. people will put in different amounts of effort into it, but just like the I don't know wholeness of what it was like from yeah. just all the different aspects about like what do you think about this doctrinally and how would you back that up and mm -hmm. what's your experience here and how would you handle this situation I really appreciated that and I was like well they're they're gonna know me coming into the summer yeah. from like not even meeting me ever before um but also like I know the workers that I'm gonna come in with also know that which was really cool yeah. for me to see what a lot of people don't realize and you alluded to it was your training to be a summer missionary actually starts with that application. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because a lot of the questions that you answer there are very much possibilities for conversations you're going to have with these students. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll get you ready from the get-go for sure. Um, guys, Peter, Emmy, any word on the application process? Um, so mine, as I got it later, so I kind of felt like rushed to do it. I did not rush through it. Um, I started on a Saturday at 10 o'clock. And what I did is that I printed it all out first and okay. I did it on paper and I finished that around 12 o'clock that night. So it took me from 10 AM <laughs> to 12 wow. o'clock that night. Uh, no. And then I came home from church the next day, immediately started working on it and tried to put it into the computer. Yeah. And I finished around one that night. So <laughs> it took me because I would go back and forth and I was reading through my Bible and I don't know who went through my application, but mm -hmm. I literally put chapters down for some of my um, yeah. references to scripture because I'm, I'm that kind of guy. I can't just pick one verse. It's like this whole passage deals with it. Mm -hmm. So, but I really did appreciate how in depth it was and how like every question is like, all right, now what do you have to support that? Not just your own mm -hmm. thoughts, but what does right. the Bible say? And like, where, yes. where do you get this from? And so, and it was really helpful to me because I still have that physical application mm -hmm. to where I can go back through and like, Okay, so why did I believe this? Like, yeah, man. where's That's my good. verse for it? And just also some of the questions, like how personal they were and how they could be applied to like campers and conversations with that. And I, I really appreciated that. But yeah, it's, uh, we had one of the middle schoolers for the past week. He was like, I want to be staff. I'm going to work staff. Mm -hmm. We had one of the high schoolers when I was a high school weekend camper and it was like, Staff sounds so, like so much fun, and it is. It's great, but we we're like, it tests you really hard. And he was like, okay, well, well, just how do I get the application? And we we're like, well, okay, w one of us, we can talk to somebody, and we can get it to you. And it's like, all right, how long did it take? And I told him, man, it took me two whole days, and I was up <laughs> staring. I was writing, mm -hmm. and then I mean, of course, you don't have to write it out, but I was typing in it into a computer for hours on end. They're like. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> well then. Okay. And then they kind of just stopped there and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's part of it is that you, it, it slows you down and mm -hmm. it forces you to, and, and like you said, it's part of the training. It is. It's to slow you down. It's to stop you in that moment and go, okay, what do I believe? Yep. And why do I believe that? That's right. And do, do, do I actually have, does the scripture back me up in this? Mm -hmm. And it, it, causes you to ask some questions to yourself as you're sitting there working through it, which is part of the, it's part of the deal. And and I'll say this too, you know, we had, we had, uh, and then Emmy, I'll let you uh, chime in here. We had nearly 60 um, applicants mm -hmm. to work summer staff. And, and again, that process is you, based on those answers. 
A lot of times, there may be times where we would message someone and say, okay, let's talk about this more. Let's talk about this more. What did you mean by this? Let's and, and really trying to use it as a means of even discipleship from our standpoint as a camp committee to where we can say, okay, uh, we real, uh, you, you mentioned, hey, uh, having a struggle with this right here. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's find out where you're at. Let's, let's do all that we can to, to mm-hmm. make sure that we are, as believers, as your brothers and sisters in Christ, are pushing you in the right directions yeah. too. So there, there's a discipleship aspect to it. There's a training aspect. There's, uh, and all of that begins with that application. It really does. Uh, Emmy, chime in here, and we're going to get ready to close some things out. So it took me, I think, like three days of like working on it in the evenings. Yeah. And I think Peter and Gracia, they said it perfectly. Like it it was a challenge in application, but I also love how like deep and intentional each question was. And it shows just how intentional like the camp committee is. Mm-hmm. And it also, I love how it, like it really makes you think and have to sit down and like ask yourself, okay, what do I believe? Yep. And I love how it prepares you for like future conversations that you may have with campers Mm -hmm. and what Peter was talking about, like with, with some campers as well. I've also had campers be like, Oh, I want to work next summer. And I'm in my head. I'm thinking they're going to have to do that application. And I hope that they can answer all those questions and like truly believe and stand for what they believe in. And I'm, hoping I see possibly some of those those high school campers be here next summer because that would be amazing to see how they grow from being a camper to becoming a staffer. Absolutely. So. Awesome. All right. Last question and we're going to get out of here because we got to bring this to a close. Do we want to go? Let's go food. Let's go food. <laughs> what's, 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 what is the best meal at Camp Nathaniel? <gasps> you see them, you see it's being cooked up in the kitchen it's being brought out by the dirges and they're they're serving everybody there. And when you see it hit the hit the table there, you're like, this is gonna be the best day ever. Mm-hmm. What do you Any, think it is? Anybody wanna go first? I'll start. As a camper that's been here for six years, I have seen a lot of food. Yeah. Huh? My top favorites, I love the chicken sandwiches. Every mm-hmm. time they come through, mm-hmm. yeah. they're so good. I'm so excited and it's so like filling. I also love the ranch chicken. Um, yeah. Ranch yep. chicken and ranch chicken. There are these green beans that they're like the waxy green beans. Oh my goodness! Those and the they're like they're about? like sugary. Yes, Clarky yes. made them last year. Yeah, that's for, I remember for like for senior dinner. Yeah, I dream about good. those things. I crave them every <laughs> like every month. They're so stinging good. Yeah, when we if you remember right when we interviewed the summer missionaries from last summer, mm-hmm. I think all three of them collectively said the the ranch chicken the ranch at the time. Chicken. So, but 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 I held I'm, the title there. I'm partial mm-hmm. to the chicken sandwiches too. You know, aside from the fact that they're shaped like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, <laughs> you know, uh, but but they but they're delicious. Uh, Gracia, Peter. Okay, um, so a big favorite and a close second is the chicken sandwich for me, but I gotta say. And working over here through the weeks and getting it almost every week, it's got to be the hot deli sandwiches oh, because yeah, I can customize man. it, and yeah. it's so good. It's and also you have a chance for seconds with those because for chicken sandwiches, <laughs> normally everybody gets to it too <laughs> that's, fast. That's yeah. right. That's you have right. to fight for your second sandwich. <laughs> yep. All right, Gracia, finish this out. I think we're go- we're gonna have a tie here with the chicken sandwiches. <laughs> okay. This yeah. Year. It's yeah. <laughs> it's so. Th- I mean, I do agree with the hot deli sandwiches because you can like you know yeah. There's bacon, which automatically puts it higher. But those chicken mm. sandwiches, and you get them almost every week. Those are, those are really really good. Just slap bacon on the chicken sandwich. Oh, there you go. Ooh, then, ooh, nice. Bacon oh, on the yeah. chicken. Well, I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to close us out here by reminding everyone that when we're recording this, it's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco so, Tuesday. So if 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 tradition holds, that means we're getting taco salad tonight. Ooh, that, yes. And that's. But I don't know that. I don't I'm know really that. Excited. If not, I'm gonna. Go cry. <laughs> so, uh, no, it won't be that bad. Uh, Taco Tuesday is always great. Hey, guys, thank you all so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you for just your insight. And uh, and, and, I, and I hope and pray for all three of you that this isn't the last summer that you served with us. All right, mm-hmm. just just throwing that out there. Oh, that was sweet, right? It was sweet. So, okay. Aww. That was Aww. really nice. I hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button there. <laughs> Guys, if you had fun with us today, make sure to share with your friends, obviously, because that's the best way to get the word out. Hit the share button, hit the like, follow us on whatever uh, podcasting 
all the, all, all the things. All the things that the I don't kids know, are doing today. I don't know all the technical words right now, but <laughs> you know, know what to do. What, whatever you're listening on, you know what to do with it. Share it with your friends. Let them know. Um, that way we get the word out about camp. And hopefully we're finding some more summer missionaries that way as well. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you back here in a couple of weeks.